Well, all we can do to create change is work hard, just do what you do well. That's a quote from Reese Witherspoon, one of the most powerful mompreneurs, you might say, of the 21st century. And she might know a thing or two about the topic of the book that we are diving into today. It's called Mom Magic. It's a compilation of advice from 20 plus moms, and three of them are local. And guess what? They're here with us today. Carissa Lauren, Dr. Sh Jessica Spradley, and Dr. Shelley Hipsky are all here. And first off, thank you all for being here. I think this book is such a great idea for other moms. And Dr. Shelley, tell us what the purpose of the book is, because you guys share some really honest feelings, and it's really about inspiring other other women, right? Absolutely. It's it's about empowering moms that are out there around the world. We already last night became international bestseller. So we oh my gosh, yeah, we're going all over the place right now. Um, so moms need that balance. They need that life balance. We're juggling so much. The three of us sitting here, we are all running businesses. I'm running a nonprofit, and we have our kiddos in tow at the same time. Wow. So this is a way for us to be able to impart our knowledge and lessons learned for the rest of the moms. Yeah, and, and Carissa, I want to talk to you about the section that you wrote because a lot of it is about expectations and figuring out uh, you know, whether you want to even look at things you see on social media, right? Yeah, I, I actually talk a lot about comparison, and I think yeah. that all moms live up to this Pinterest perfect version that we're mm -hmm. supposed to be. We have to present these crafts for our kids. We have to do this. And I talk about really finding your authenticity, your confidence as a mother, and what unique qualities you have to offer your kids. And Dr. Jessica, I know one of the things that you write about is really you felt that you didn't even have the luxury to be able to make a mistake. Yeah. Like you really held yourself or, or maybe still do to some extent to a really high standard. Yeah, I think that one of the things I value most is being a role model for my girls. Right. And I just want them to grow up saying, I want to be like my mom. And so for me, it was a lot of pressure that I put on myself, um, but they're the reason that I want to be successful, that I have to have an amazing job that allows me to have the flexibility to be there for them whenever they need me. And you know what, and I think so many other moms are going to relate to exactly what the stories that you all are sharing. Dr. Yeah. Shelley, your story, I mean, it has to do with guilt, among yes. other things. But I, I love what your message is about because it's really about resiliency, too, right? Exactly. I, I personally have been on this journey to inspire and empower the women of the world. But all the time when it comes to moms, they have this mom guilt kind of eating out mm -hmm. of them. I had now teenagers, so I was able to look back to those days growing as they were growing up and those times when I was like, oh my gosh, are my kids going to make it through this? Is this going to affect them negatively? But now I see that that very reason that they went through that was so that they could become resilient, so that they could be thrivers right. and survivors and become teenagers and then adults that can function in our society and do well. So it's, it's been a, a wonderful journey of reflection for me and with Mom Magic. Carissa, with so many of the moms coming together to write these segments, I mean, when you shared the stories, was it sort of like an epiphany, like, oh my gosh, I'm not alone in this? <laughs> Absolutely. I think I just posted yesterday, I said, I feel like I finally found my people. Aww. Because um, <laughs> only you can relate to how it really is to balance babies. I mean, I was a full-on pandemic parent with a one-year-old, one on the way, scaling a business. Mm -hmm. So it was great to have that relatability with them. Dr. Jessica, if you were going to boil it down, and you know, we want everybody to read the book and the entire book, but if you were going to boil it down as maybe the most important advice that you would give to other moms, what would it be? Uh, be content with your own magic. Yes. Oh, I love that. Yes. I love yeah. It. Because people really do, I mean, by nature, try to, to strive for something else and don't necessarily realize what they already have. Right. You're the best you that the world can have. So just be that and be happy with it. Yeah. And Dr. Shelley, international success already? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, but you know, we are really going, we are aiming for the New York Times bestseller list, which okay. is a huge goal. So all those moms out there that need this book, get the book now so that we can all get to that point. 
so that it's a bigger platform. We want more moms right. to feel good about themselves, to know that they're enough, to know that they're worthy, and that they're doing a good job, even on the hard days. I love the message. I love that you guys were able to join us today. Thank you so much, and we're cheering you on with the book and everything else. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And once Thank you. again, Mom Magic Can Change the World. The book became available on Amazon yesterday. And again, they have a goal. Help them make that goal. We have a link with more info for you on our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.